for our example tax system uh, that we're going to use as kind of a guide for how you can go and model the current U.S. tax system. Uh, we're going to run through a scenario uh, that is going to model something very close to that. So we're going to pretend right now that you live in some country, we'll call it the United States of Algebra. And in this country, the United States of Algebra, you are taxed at three different marginal tax rates depending on what your income is. So every taxpayer for the first up to ten thousand dollars that they make will pay a marginal tax rate of five percent for every dollar that you make above ten thousand but less than or equal to fifty thousand you'll pay a ten percent tax for every dollar you make that's over fifty thousand dollars you're going to pay a fifteen percent marginal tax rate so this is going to be very similar to the um, seven uh, tax brackets in the uh, in the current as well as the 2017 uh, US uh, national income tax brackets so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and attempt to write a piecewise function that would model this tax system so I'm gonna be typing in whereas you guys can go and just write it in by hand so if we're going to go and take a look at this tax system we need to go and say, all right, well, we've got basically three different scenarios. You make this much money, you make this much money, and you make this much money. And all three of those are going to have a different tax rate. So the rate that we're taxed at is dependent on the income level. So that's going to be the domain restrictions. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in those domain restrictions first. So for zero dollars, up to a maximum of ten thousand dollars we're going to be going with the first marginal tax rate in the middle we're going to be going from ten thousand and one dollars so more than that but less than or equal to fifty thousand dollars and then finally uh, the third one is going to be only when your income exceeds or is greater than or equal to fifty thousand and one dollar. Uh, you may be thinking, well, we're we're kind of skipping some values in between ten thousand and ten thousand and one, but the fact is that the IRS will always go and round to the nearest whole dollar. They don't even mess with cents, so we're not going to here in the in the United States of algebra either. So now that we know where our three functions are going to be happening what's going to be happening at those levels well if you're making between zero dollars and ten thousand dollars you're going to pay a five percent tax five percent represented as a decimal is point zero five and your income here is obviously x so this is going to tell us that you're paying five percent of your income in tax but only if your income is below ten thousand dollars if we move on to the next tax bracket we need to think if I'm moving into the second tax bracket I've already kind of maxed out that first income bracket so I've already paid five percent of my first ten thousand dollars worth of income well how much is five percent of ten thousand dollars well that's just five hundred so I've already paid five hundred dollars in tax from the first margin but in addition to that so plus I'm going to be paying a ten percent tax how do I represent ten percent as a decimal simply point one but I'm paying ten percent tax but only on the money that I make that's over ten thousand dollars so how can I figure out how much I've made over ten thousand dollars well I can take my income which is X and then subtract ten thousand from that that way every dollar that I make over ten thousand is getting taxed at this ten percent rate for the third and final tier of my tax system I'm going to have maxed out everything at the first income level and the second income level so I just have the third one to add to it 
So thinking the same way we did before, if I'm at that third income bracket, I've already paid a 5% tax on my first $10,000 of income. I've also already paid a 10% tax on the next $40,000 that I made because inclusively there's $40,000 in between $10,000 and $50,000. So 10% of that is $4,000. But in addition to paying my 5% on this amount and 10% on this amount, I'm going to be paying 15% on every dollar I make above $50,000. So in addition to plus, I'm going to be paying a 15% tax on the amount of money that I make that is above $50,000. I could figure that out by saying X minus 50,000. So hopefully you're starting to notice a pattern as we're going and developing this particular piecewise function. Um, we start with a tax level, we max it out and add to it. Then we've maxed out the first, we've maxed out the second, now we start adding the third. You're going to be following a very similar pattern when you start going through all seven tax brackets in the current system. So, now that I have my piecewise function done, I can start answering some of the other questions. So the next one says, using your function, try and figure out what your tax bill would be if you made $70,000 in a year. So, if you made $70,000 in a year, obviously that's going to be greater than or equal to $50,001. So, I'm going to be plugging my $70,000 into this part right here. Using your calculator, you could just type in 500 plus 4,000 plus 0.15 times the difference between 70000 minus 50,000. And you should see that uh, your tax bill, if you made $70,000 in a year in the United States of Algebra, would end up being $7,500. So the next question is asking you to calculate the percent of your income that you paid in taxes. Well, I made $70,000, but I paid $7,500 in taxes. So $7,500 divided by $70,000 is going to give me what's called my effective tax rate. For this case, that ends up being about 10.71%. Uh, you can use your calculator to figure that out. Just remember the rules for converting between decimals and percentages. So you should have a pretty good idea of where you need to be going for the remainder of this project and being able to construct a piecewise function with seven different pieces that correspond to the seven different income tax brackets uh, for the United States federal income tax.